Hi, this is James from London Suds and today I'm making a new soap. This soap is an orange and ginger uh, soap. I've been meaning to make this for a while but this month has been so hectic with it being the holiday season that I haven't really had time. But today I've got some time and so let's do this. So as always we're gonna add our lye water to the oils. This is nothing new. Okay. This one side. Blend it up. Okay, so with this soap, the base colour is going to be orange with accents of um, yellow, black and white. So let's do the black first. I'm not going to use too much of the black because uh, we don't want it to take over the whole soap. And black can sometimes actually do that. So I think that should do it. black done. Then let's do the yellow and the orange. The white, sorry. Oh, there's some soap in there. Some dried soap. Okay, so now that, that is done. Let's do the yellow. I want lots of yellow because that's going to be for the ginger. And then let's do the white. Okay. It's here. In goes the yellow. And the white. Just going to wipe this surface down because I hate having a messy countertop. It's one of my pet peeves. And finally, the orange. And of course, next we're going to add in the fragrance. This smells amazing, by the way. Okay. So then we're going to stick blend it from light to dark. So that's going to be the white, then the yellow, then the orange, and then the black. So let's go with the white. Yellow. Orange. Finally, the black. 
Okay, so with this soap, we're gonna just, bleh, sorry, <laughs> we're just gonna do a very simple in the pot swirl. So I'm going to this to one side, this to one side, this out. One thing I'm gonna do is get a small bit of the orange for the top. Just get this out. Not too much. Okay. So let's start with the black, first of all. There's no real secret to this, just make sure that you are evenly space out your soap. I'm going to do the yellow. Lots of yellow. Then the white. So it gives us a bit of a mix. And then let's stir this up, do it once, maybe twice. Let me get a big mold. This I think is gonna look awesome. Let's make sure you, you guys can actually see it. Okay. Oh. And here we go. Put down the middle and then back. Then you want to stop for a bit, and then as you're coming to the end of the pour, then you want to go back. And go in and get out all the leftover soap batter. Okay, so now that um, the main part of the soap has been poured, wipe down the counter again. I'm gonna slam it down a few times, get rid of all the air bubbles. Okay. So then for the top part, we're gonna do a mixture of the black, the white, and the yellow. Let's start with the yellow. Just make sure that you get the yellow on every single bar that, that you're going to be cutting. Then let's do the orange, which I saved from earlier on. Very important step. And 
and then the white. Where's the white? We're missing a spoon. So we'll just use this. So right now it looks like looks a tiny bit of a mess, but in the end, it's gonna look awesome. Not much of the black because it's a really dark colour. And then finally, because it's a London Sud Soap, we gotta have some gold. So let's go ahead and add the gold mica. That's, that's become kind of my little Bang. Gotta have gold mica. Or bronze. Or copper. Any kind of a uh, nice mica. Okay, so let's mix this up. There's no set way of doing this, just make sure that you get it on every bar. I think that's about it. Okay. One final slam. And then the fun part is, as always, swirling the top. Who doesn't like this this part? So um, I think we're going to go... Let's make sure that you guys can actually see it. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Go in and do some finishing touches. Just don't over swirl it. I think that is about it. There we go, guys. What do you think? Let me know. Bye.